There's a pretty high chance that if you bought a host shield, it didn't come pre-soldered, which is necessary for it to function. So in this video, I'll go over what you need to start soldering and how to solder a host shield. All right, so to start soldering, you will need a soldering iron. This one here runs off of a phone charger, which is capable of 45 watts, which is plenty. And then this is a soldering station, which is pretty overkill if you're only gonna be using it once. So what I recommend is to just get a cheap soldering iron. Um, you could probably get one under 20 bucks. The next thing you'll need is solder. Just make sure you get electrical solder. You don't need this big of a spool. You can just get a small spool. The last thing which is optional is flux. It's kind of like a wax that you brush onto the contacts and it helps the solder stick. But again, this is completely optional. Since I have a soldering station, I'm going to tin the wire. I'm just going to put some solder on the tip and twist it around in the cleaning wire and it will distribute the solder on the tip of the soldering iron and make it easier. Then you're going to get some solder and put it on the tip and just touch that to the two contacts you want to join and it should just beat up like this. If it doesn't, just add a little bit more. Just make sure you don't add too much solder or you might short the surrounding contacts. And I'm just going to solder these other two. And once you've soldered these three, this is what it should look like. And you should be good to go.